Hey guys, it's Spartan 765. Today I'm doing a video on a special request on how to clean a most in a Gaunt rifle. This is really with any rifle after uh, shooting corrosive ammunition. I'm going to show two ways. One with the stand, one with a um, carbon fiber cleaning rod with brass jag, and one with the actual most in the gun equipment. I'm not actually going to clean this rifle because it's clean already and I'm not going to waste chemicals, but I will go through the process. Now what I recommend if you have it is a carbon fiber or fiberglass cleaning rod with brass 30 cal jag. If you, and obviously with patches, just the 30 cal patches. Now if you only have the most Nagant cleaning kit, just untwist it, take it out. The proper way to do this so you do not damage the crown of your bore. With this one you also go through the bore here. With this carbon one you go through the bore. As long as you guide it, I mean this is not as, this is made out of fiberglass and brass. It's not going to hurt the bore or the crown at all. Just kind of guide it with your hand if you're really worried, but I never do that because I can, or I guide it with my hand. I don't need the bore guide. But with this most I got cleaning rod, what you're going to do here, first step is put on this little piece right here, just so it goes down like this. So the, the hole's going down, drop it down. This is a spacer. This controls the spacing so you don't, the rod doesn't go in too far, go out too far. The next, you're going to want to put on your muzzle cap, like this, and then your jag. This is a steel jag, and I don't recommend cleaning a rifle bore with steel, because I, it's just not what I do. But if this is all you got, you can do with this too. And that little hole, line it up with there, slide in the little, what the fuck here, slide in, it's kind of hard to do with one hand, okay, there we go. So it looks just like this, and to tighten your jag, take your most nagat tool, hook it right in there like that, and give it a tight, like that. Now, what you do when you put this on, you put your patch on, and you just put this, here, come over here so you can actually see how it would go, and you put this, pretend this rod's in the barrel, this is a, is a, a muzzle guard that would go right over the barrel like that, so it protects your crown. Okay, now we're going to go actually on how to clean the rifle if you get, um, First step, remove the bolt, like so. The bolt's removed. Remove, your, remove the drop plate, just like so. Pull down, squeeze, pull out. Drop plate's removed. Okay, now the next step, take just Windex or anything with ammonia, glass cleaner with ammonia. Spray it in both sides liberally in there. Then take a rod, today we're going to just pretend we're using this rod, put a patch on it and swipe that through the barrel. What that does is that neutralizes the salts from the primer. Okay, now your next step is if you shot a lot of ammo, what I would recommend is taking a copper brush, next putting it on your cleaning rod. If you, do, you obviously won't have that if you have it on here. If you just have your most Nagant cleaning kit, then you'd skip this part. I usually take a copper brush and go through the bore, you know, about 10 times to get the shit out. That's with a little, um, Hops 9, I usually dip the brush in either Shooter's Choice or Hops 9, whatever you want to use, personal preference. Go through the bore with that a couple times. Then what I do is I take it, wipe, put patches through it until it comes clean, then go again with the wire brush and do patches until it's clean. And then what I do finally to coat the bore with some oil, I just take Hops or any gun oil, REM oil, doesn't really matter. Put the patch on your jag spray some rem oil on it or put some oil on it go through the bore a few times with that and then if you're going to shoot it later on after you put the oil all the oil and just take one dry patch push it through one time and that's it that's it for cleaning the bore now we're going to go on to cleaning the bolt the bolt is a lot part a lot of things people overlook also you can carry your follower if you want to you just take oil rub that down okay now with the bolt what i generally do is to decock it pull back Twist was that clock counterclockwise, just like that. Remove the bolt head and the bar. Then next, take take your bolt body, push down. Just twist the cocking piece off like so. The cocking piece is off. Just comes out like this. It's main spring firing pin. Now what I generally do here: squirt it all with Windex. Take a paper towel, wipe it down, and then I just take some oil and wipe oil all over here. Now a key part to get at is right here on the um, the bolt face. There's a ring there, you want to make sure you clean all that off, get um, get that really good. Then how to reassemble your bolt. 
first step is to put in your firing pin like this here, see? Put it in this way. Oh, whoops, forgot to put the spring on. I'm a little tired today. Spring on, firing pin, just like so. Push down. Just twist, twist this thing back on. Okay, just kind of, I can pretty much guess on where it's supposed to go just by lining it up. Okay? And after you got it that far, just make sure it's decocked again so you can put your um, extension bar on and your uh, bolt, bolt head. And to put this on, you just put it over here like this. But you got to make sure this is twisted here so it's flat and perpendicular to this. Put this on, goes down, twist your bolt, lock it over. And when it's just like this, take your little tool and your spacer. There's two spacers here. The smaller one, you want to make sure the um, firing pin touches it. The larger one, you want it to the firing pin not to touch. Okay, see, like I said, I'm really good at just guessing that, so I don't really need to use that, but just to show you. And after that, give your bolt like a quick squirt of rim oil or whatever. I'm actually going to squirt it because I touched it, so I'll put it back. Okay, then squirt your follower down if you want to and clean that out. If you want to clean the receiver, just wipe it down. You can actually, if you really wanted to, take the whole gun apart. But what I do is just generally squirt Windex in there, or some Windex in there, maybe on a towel because you don't want to get in the crevices. Just wipe down the inner walls of the receiver, then go over with the oil. That's all I do with the receiver. Okay, then next put your, you see how to do that here, put your follower back in, or your, in your drop plate. Then insert bolt. Okay. Just like that. Function test. Okay. Works. What I generally do up here is because solvents and stuff got in here, I just wipe this whole part down with oil. Keeps it pretty good. And obviously replace your cleaner while you're done.